No matter what nationality the crowd, wherever you perform, you create a sensation. Specky, it's great having you once again on Culture Share. Thank you, my pleasure. You'll be leaving pretty soon to go down to St. Croix for some shows with some bads in the business. And then you'll be going down to Trinidad to take care of your album again with Pelham Gorda. We'll be talking about that pretty soon. And you also will be touring with the Calypso Queen of the World, Calypso Rose. Lots of things are happening. Things are happening for Inspector. You happy about them, right? Yeah, very happy. It's like a dream come true. First of all, St. Croix. Well, I will be going to perform with um, Black Stalin, former Calypso monarch of Trinidad and Tobago. Looking forward to a great show because, as you know, Black Stalin is one of the best from the Caribbean. From there, I will be going to do my record in Trinidad again with um, Pelham. Now, this is the second year that you'll be working with Pelham Goddard. You created history, being the first Grenadian to work with this renowned arranger. You did that last year, and it was a sensational album. Up to now, people are still talking about that piece of brass structure in Give Them Space. Um, Padam, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> 1992, you're going to work again with Pelham Goddard. I'm sure yeah. you're looking forward to that in earnest. Yeah, well, I'm looking for um, better work, more improvement than last year. I enjoy it very much, you know, and I got good things last year, good work. That is why I'm going back this year. And... Uh, He's a very good person to work with. For example, you walk along with him, he don't only do his thing, he makes sure you're satisfied. And that alone make a man great. That alone make a man important because Calypsonian look at that. So you feel, you feel, what you're saying is that you feel comfortable walking with him, putting your input yeah. in the total production of the record. Yeah, I feel relaxed. If I give him my idea, he don't refuse it. You know, some arranger feel well they're big and they know everything, so they do what they want and they don't listen to you. So working with him is very great. I don't regret working with him. That is why I go in back this year. <laughs> Talking about the album itself, how many songs will you be doing and um, what can we expect from the inspector this year? Well, I will be doing about three songs for the most. Um, one lyrical one and two party songs. Well, you know, Inspector's style, as usual, is to make the people get up and dance. And the lyrical one are putting more serious work into it. You know, make, educate the people some more. Make them know what's taking place out there. So, the album this year is supposed to be a great album, better than last year. You want to let any cats out of the bag? Uh, not right now. <laughs> <laughs> Very distinct. Um... You said that you're looking for more lyrics this year. Is it because you are thinking so much in terms of um, the big yard in Grenada come August? Well, um, the more you live, the more you learn. And you know the Calypsonian job is not only to make the people whine. You got to educate the people too. And sometimes you listen to the critics and you learn from them. And you do more work on your songs. That's one point. The big yard, as you said, is the next point because you want to go there with something good, you know, so you can walk out the park, even though not first, but falling in the first tree because that's very important in a competition. And you know the night, the judge is looking for lyrics especially. You're also down to tour with the Calypso Queen of the World, Calypso Rose. I'm sure that, is, that will be one of the highlights of your young career that's that's right for example i remember going to primary school listening her all over the radio <laughs> on a, on you make mornings. me seem so old man <laughs> <laughs> go ahead well listening calypso rose you know and you know calypso rose is a master and she always bring out good music good lyrics party songs she educate the people and she had a song, uh, um, a few years ago, she had a song called, um, I forgot the name, but you go like, Mommy, when you go in, I go take you anywhere. She said, no, mister, 
That's our no, song. Right, no mess Yeah, one. very much. I yeah. think it was uh, Pelham Goddard who did the arrangement of that one too. Yeah, the memory serves me right. That's right. Mm -hmm. And knowing myself, listening to Calypso Rose, following up her music, and today I'm touring with Calypso Rose, is like, you know, something very great. Anybody would like that in life. So it bring back memories and it make you gain some more. So it's like a big success. Have you ever had the opportunity to actually sit down and talk with Rose about the tour yet? Uh, no, not, no, not really. No. Not really? No. But um, you're hoping that things would work out pretty fine? Yeah, hoping um, when I come back from Trinidad to have a chat with her about it. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be um, touring places like Europe? With her? Yeah, with Calypso Rose. You'll be yeah. going to London too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You'll be revisit revisiting London? Yeah, that's right. Um, I would like to say, or I'm proud to say that one of my best shows, one of them, has been London. The people out there support the music, and when they come out, they get good performance. Everything from Inspector. The first time I got the break, I make sure I put out my best, and I keep that going. So this time I were doing more shows over there. So I guess when I come out back from England, it's like Hurricane Gilbert Passover. <laughs> <laughs> and for those of you who don't know, his um, second name is Gilbert in truth and in fact. <laughs> in, in New York, um, you know, you do so many performances. Maybe you'd like to do even more performances, but do you sometimes, um, you know, feel burnt out by the amount of performances you have to do in Brooklyn, doing the same songs virtually over and over again for one season particularly? Um, sometime, sometime no. You know, like sometime you need the shows or you need the money, you need the popularity, so you have to do it. Sometime again you feel that way because it's like every time you go to perform, you're doing the same songs over and over. But as an entertainer and as an artist, you make sure that if you do a show this week and you put out a performance, Next week, although you're doing the same songs, but you try to do something different into your performance. You try to give them a different style. So it's like they get something different, although they're listening to the same song. And what is the sharp message you have for everyone from Inspector for 92? For 92, look out for Inspector, hotter than ever. Elimus Gilbert, thank you very much for being on Culture Share. It was great having you. And all the best on the tours, and all the best on your album, and all the best with the relationship with Pelham Goddard. Thank you very much. Before I leave, I would like to say on the 11th of July, I will be launching my new record in Brooklyn. And on the 17th of July, I will be launching my record in Grenada at Fantasia 2001. Information about the venue in Brooklyn, you shall hear it over Culture Share soon and over WLIB. Thank you.